Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this giant holly leaf. It has a bunch of different applications for decorating. It's fun, it is huge, it's great for filling up a big space. I have some over my doorway here. It looks really cute. I'm going to show you how to make that. For this project, you will need the following. For this project, you will need a cutting machine like a Cricut or Silhouette, light grip mat, green 12 by 12 cardstock, six sheets for a leaf, 29 inches, or two for a medium leaf, that is 15 inches. Wire for the spine, optional but nice. I used an 18 gauge wire for the large and floral wire for the medium. Six inch half foam balls for berries, glue gun and glue sticks, and of course paint for the berries. You'll also want Fleece Fun's free SVG files. Those are available on fleecefun.com. Great, now that you have all those items, it's time to get started and it's gonna involve a little bit of cutting. Giant Holly Leaves DIY free SVG files instructions. Step one, cut out the holly leaf pieces. Each leaf, no matter the size, is made up of eight pieces. Cut out the pieces and keep the same shapes in piles. This will make it easier to assemble them. Now, one thing I strongly recommend is you need to keep track of what piece is which, because things can get flipped over. So just make sure you've got your piles of what is what, because it kind of comes together like a puzzle. Step two, fold the edges. Each leaf has perforated edges. Fold up the edges on each section, making sure that you fold each shape as a mirror to each other. Notice how the top and bottom sections only have two folds and the middle have three. Lay out the leaf so you can see how it will come together. All right, let's start to assemble the holly leaf. Step three, glue the giant holly leaf together. Starting with the top, glue the two tops together in the center. If you plan on running a wire through the center, just glue along the top edge of the seam. Set aside. Next, glue the first middle section piece down the center. Set aside. Now the second middle section. Glue the center together and also set that aside. Finally, the bottom section. Glue the center together. Now line up the leaf and glue the sections together starting with the bottom. And working your way to the top of the giant holly leaf. Now adding the wire to the back is optional but I do recommend it. It makes it easier to kind of pose and manipulate the leaf, it also kind of gives it a stronger spine, but it's optional. Now, if you want to add some wire to make the leaf a little more sturdy and poseable, flip the giant holly leaf over and push the wire into the back and glue into place. This is the back of the holly leaf, so it's okay if the wire is still visible. Be sure to leave some of the wire out at the bottom so you have something to poke the berries onto. Step four, paint the berries and put up. Finally, paint the berries and allow them to dry. Put them up with the holly leaves using command strips and use the wire on the ends to hook the berries into place. And that's it. You have this great giant holly wreath, so many different application holly wreath, holly leaf. You could turn it into a wreath. You just get, you know, hula hoop and add it to that and you totally could make a wreath. But this holly leaf has a bunch of different applications. For the berries, I just took large foam balls, the half foam balls, and painted them and added them to it. So very easy to add. And I love the fact that you can do a bunch of different things. It'd be great for plays. It'd be great if you know, you're trying to fill like a large banquet hall and you're just trying to get some decorations up. Great options for your holidays there. Speaking of the holidays, I have a ton of holiday tutorials on fleecefun.com that I think you'll enjoy. A lot of the stuff you see behind me, yeah, there's a tutorial and a free PDF pattern for. So be sure to check me out there. Also, if you liked this tutorial, why not, you know, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my tutorials, which I think is a good idea personally, you know. Let me know in the comments below what you think you're gonna use your giant holly leaf for.